The Royal Enfield Meteor 350 is unique in a lightweight motorcycle that it comes standard with the heel toe shift. A traditional shift, you're gonna go underneath the shift, but with heel toe shift, you're, you downshift by pushing down, upshift by clicking your heel. How about genuine Royal Enfield? They're footrests, they're not pegs, they're wider. Should be a little bit more comfortable. I'm gonna put them on today. It shouldn't be too, too hard to do. There we go, it's on. MCC Just Motos. Hey, good afternoon, guys. It's Andy from MCC Just Motos. I'm here today with my Royal Enfield Meteor 350 and my shirt from Baxter Cycle. Actually, the bike from Baxter Cycle. I'm here with an upgrade and talk about something kind of cool, a heel toe shifter, especially for a lightweight motorcycle. Let me show you my upgrade. Let me show you what I'm going to talk about and let me show you why I'm going to do it. Check it out. The Royal Enfield Meteor 350 is unique in a lightweight motorcycle that it comes standard with the heel toe shifter. It's a staple of heavy duty cruiser motorcycles. There's some extreme benefits to it. Here I am rocking my new kicks, my Vans. Um, they're a really durable street boot, I'll call it. Not a full motorcycle boot, but a durable street shoe. There's a standard pair of leather boots. You can see one is worn extremely more than the other, right there. That's your traditional heel uh, uh, toe shifter. You get under there and it wears on your shoe. So it definitely creates more wear on the shoe. Here, right here, there's some patches and extra leather. You can get a, a patch to put over it. Um, or, or you just wear out your shoe like that. And you can see the differences. Heel toe eliminates that. Or it can eliminate that. I'm going to show you why. A traditional shift, you're going to go underneath the shift, but with heel toe shift, you're, you downshift by pushing down, upshift by clicking your heel. Again, downshift, upshift. You don't get any wear on your toe here. You can click up in an emergency to upshift, but you can use your heel. Takes a little getting used to, but it's very comfortable. One of the maybe downsides of the stock heel toe shifter, I don't know, is this is a normal size peg. Most heel toe shifters are wider, a little more comfortable. But genuine Royal Enfield, um, they're not, they're footrests, they're not pegs, they're wider. Should be a little bit more comfortable. I'm gonna put them on today, it shouldn't be too, too hard to do. Now, the only thing I really need to do, so let's see if you can see, right there, there's a, a, a cotter pin kind of, and you're gonna pull it out, and it'll take the pin out. So I'm gonna do that now. And I'll probably have to buy snap ring pliers, okay. Nope. Got a guy's snap rings. There you go. All right, snap ring. Hopefully we can get it in there. Yay. All right, cool. Snap ring down. All right. You want to get me? Here, take yeah. the, here. All right, so now there is a spring right there. Cool. Let's go get the new one. Genuine Royal Enfield. Or so they said. I asked for black ones. I just realized these ones are silver. Huh. Uh, interesting. They are Royal Enfield. Okay. So it goes like that. These ones don't fit at all. Oh my gosh. These definitely can't be Royal Enfield. Look at that, the pin doesn't fit. 
I wonder if I got to get a new pin. Let me check. I'm at my buddy Tony's place. He's he's gonna get his drill. We're gonna drill this piece, this hole. They said general, genuine Royal Enfield, but now that I look at it, I don't think they are. They said it was for the Media 350. I think they're just kind of pirated or aftermarket. I'm also gonna paint these black because these are supposed to be black. All right, let's uh, let's get the right size and uh, ream it out, drill it out. Okay. Tony uh, got the right size drill bit. We checked yeah. it, checked it out. Yeah, practically the same. All right, so do it. All right, all right. All right. Oh, huh. ream it out a little bit for you. Let's see. Let's see if it fits. Oh yeah, like a look at that. Perfect. All right, number two. <laughs> Sweet. We'll do the same for the second. I pop these off. They just pop out. Got some spray paint. I'm gonna go spray paint them. Let them dry for a little bit. Okay. Let that dry a little and then we'll touch up the coats. So this the uh, goes in like that. You gotta put the spring in. This part, there's a little hole goes in towards the bike, and then this part goes down on top. You'll see. There we go. Okay. There we go. That's how the ring goes. There's a little hole in there. I'll show you with the screwdriver. It's right there it's hard to see but that's where it goes now i'm gonna put the snap ring on now important on the snap ring because it's it's so wide right now it's gonna slip right in you have to go from remove to to make tight so let's go ahead and do that all right okay we got it there we go it's on there's a snap ring Okay, let's see how it looks and feels. Right. Well, there it is. It's a lot wider. It's a lot thicker foot grip. It doesn't seem much harder to get your toe underneath it, but it seems uh, pretty wide. So let's go for a spin and see uh, what it feels like. guys well i really liked how it felt it was really nice and i didn't have to wiggle my foot to try and angle it it felt pretty good hopefully got some good shots on the before and after um i think uh i don't know it was like 30 40 bucks something like that on ebay that's where i bought it from shipped from in india and uh had to do a little work to it but we got it in there it seems to be a nice quality piece um i like it i think it's going to be comfortable over the long run i'll let you know what questions you have drop them below in a comment. Please like and subscribe. Uh, big shout out and thank you to Tony. Um, check out his video of him riding a Royal Enfield for the first time. Um, again, huge shout out to Tony. Thank you for filming. We'll catch you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.